Hey my loves, it's Kenny. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. How you guys been? It's been a hot minute since I done a YouTube video. And honestly cousins, it's just because I've been sick. I haven't been up to anything fancy. Your girl has just been sick. But alhamdulillah, I am feeling much better now. So I thought, what better way to come back onto YouTube than testing out new makeup? Y'all know I love me some good, good makeup. And there has been a lot of new releases. So today we're gonna dive in and see when it's good. The majority of the products I'll be trying out in today's video are gonna be affordable. I've got a little bit of high end here and there. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video and put on some makeup. Cause I have missed y'all so much. Y'all don't even understand. Like I lost my voice, I got a cold, I had a fever. Girl, I had a whole nine yards okay I am just so glad to be back okay so starting off as you can see I've already gone in and done my brows already but I use this benefit of fluff me up brow wax to like fluff up my brows and like prep my brows to make it look a little bit fuller than what it is and I must say I am really liking this so far the one thing about brow wax that I don't like is that they always dry hard and they turn quite flaky on me but I use this and grow it did not do that I love the one applicator it's quite flexible I love the fact that it has like a dry feel too it so far it also has a good hold to it as well my brow pencil are glad on smooth on top of it it didn't give me any hard time i am jamming with this i currently were using the beauty crop bff brow styling wax but i think i just found a new favorite so now let's move on to skin and i'm going to start off using this skin proud refresher hydrating facial mist this is what she looks like very very pretty even though my skin looks quite moisturized right now trust me in about like three hours it's gonna look hella dry i need like hydrating moisturizing products to like keep it you know in place i'm just gonna quickly go in oh very fine mist oh that feels delicious on the skin like oh my gosh it smells amazing as well this will just give my skin that boost of hydration and radiance that i definitely need before we jump into priming our skin i'm actually going to use this for free beauty cherry balm lip scrub and lip balm it's actually got sent to me by colourpop this is what she looks like very cute packaging one of it is a lip scrub and one of it is a lip balm I'm gonna quickly go in with the lip scrub first, which is the darker pink out of the two shades. I don't know if you guys can see the texture of this. It has like little bits in it that's like extremely to my lips. I really like the concept of this. It's like a lip scrub on the go. Yeah. I'm just gonna wipe it off. Oh, my lips does feel a lot softer. Now let's get in with the lip balm. I'm not really a lip balm type of girl. I love my lip glosses. It's like my lips look juicy, but this is definitely like conditioning my lips. I am gonna go on top of it with a lip gloss just to make me feel better about myself because I love lip glosses. It's just a must that I personally like, but I definitely, definitely love the concept of the lip scrub in like a tube form. It's like an on the go, quick lip scrub. Popping your bag when your lips be looking, you know, chappy, ashy, quick lip scrub on. Pop, pop some lip gloss and you got baby soft kissable lips okay so moving on to primers i actually have four primers to show you guys we have the elf power grip primer but this time we have four percent niacinamide i also picked up the irl skin filter blur primer by revolution we also have the mua pro based hyaluronic acid jelly primer i picked this up because i love the hyaluronic acid um facial spray that i saw that it comes in a primer as well so i thought i'm gonna love it so that's why i picked her up and a makeup revolution sent me their super base vitamin base primer it's a skin nourishing primer that has you know vitamin b's vitamin e hyaluronic acid basically i think it's meant to be a deep for the bobby brown vitamin base primer i can't remember the name of that that is what i think this is meant to be just based on the claims of it it's a skin nourishing primer that has vitamin b c and e shea butter and hyaluronic acid in it to hydrate and nourish your skin 
and for makeup i'm not gonna use this in today's video because i've already gone in with my skin proud facial spray so i want to use this in another video clearly i can't use all four primers on my face like i only have one face i am gonna double prime i'm gonna use the elf niacinamide power grip primer just because i feel like it's the one that has the most hype on it we're gonna grab her come on oh I'm just gonna massage this around the perimeter of my face. If I'm being honest, the original Elf Power Grip Primer, I know a lot of people love it and use it on a daily basis, but I actually don't reach out for it as often as I thought I would. I really wanted to love it as much as everyone else was loving it. Just didn't, you know, give me that obsession that I wanted. This one so far, I think I prefer, just based on how it just went on my skin. I feel like the original had a lot more tact to it, so it didn't like blend into my skin as easily as I wanted to, whereas this one did, which I'm liking. And it did not give me a white cast. For the center of my face, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution IRL Skin Filter Pore Primer. I'm just gonna put this right here to like minimize my large Pause. Foundation, I picked up the new NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. I did pick up two shades which are 22 Mocha and 24 Java. I believe 24 is the darkest shade they have, we're in my local sewer drugs anyway, and 24 was the second darkest. My initial thought when I saw this foundation was it was like that, you know, my skin but better, natural radiant blur skin type foundation, like a skin tint, that's what I thought it was. Not knowing it's a medium coverage matte foundation. So let's shake it up before we use. I'm hoping I got a good shade. Oh, mm, that's looking a little bit red. And that's the shade 22. Let's see what Java gives us. Okay. So these are the two shades that I picked up. Both of them don't match me. <laughs> but let's see if we mix the two shades together what we get. Still not my shade. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to work with 22. I'm not gonna lie, first impressions are not really impressed with the shade range. Okay, like if I can't find my shade, that's a problem. The consistency of this foundation is quite thick. I'm gonna apply the shade 22 in the center of my face. And then we'll do the mixture of the 22 and 24 around the perimeter of my face. Okay, the foundation is definitely matte. All the glow that I had on my face, gone, disappeared. Okay, so now that I have the foundation on the skin, baby, she's giving matte. Oily skin, babe, stand up, because this foundation is for you, honey. Definitely giving matte, definitely giving medium coverage as well. But I will say, although it's a matte foundation, it doesn't feel matte at all. I have used matte foundation in the past and it's like stripped my oils off my face and my skin is screaming for hydration. This foundation isn't doing that it definitely looks matte on the skin but it doesn't feel matte it feels very comfortable they feel like it's suitable for oily skin babes and combination skin moving on to concealer i picked up the irl filter finish soft matte concealer this is by revolution and i got the shade 13.5 oh oh look at the applicator cousins it's given oh oh that feels nice it feels so creamy and I love this applicator, it gets right into your inner corners. This wand is honestly great. Oh, I do have to dip in quite a few times to get the products on. But other than that, it's getting on quite smoothly. Let's blend this out straight away because it is a matte concealer. Oh, I blend like a dream.
definitely a medium coverage. I do feel like I'm gonna go with a second layer, just to give them that extra oomph, you know? Again, another matte product that doesn't feel super matte. Going with my second layer of this, just for my under eye. Because I don't have any cream bronzing product, I'm actually gonna use the Blur Foundation again, by the shade 24 Java, because it looks quite deep for me to bronze with. You kind of do need to work quick with this foundation because it does dry down. So that is just something I just noticed. But it blends really, really beautifully. Stunning. Yeah, stunning. Absolute stunning. For cream blush, we're going again with Makeup Revolution. And this is their blush and highlight double-ended blush and highlight stick and this is what she looks like the color i picked up is champagne shine hopefully the color looks good on us she is pink she is really pink i'm just gonna warm oh wow <laughs> the other end is the highlighter really pretty i'm not really into highlighters but i can appreciate a good highlighter okay go in with a brush and Tap that on. Okay, this blush doesn't really suit my complexion, but it's pigmented. Very creamy as well. And I believe they had like an orange one. I don't know why I didn't pick up that one. I feel like that would have suited my skin tone a lot more. And this she is pigmented and we know that she is good. So now I'm gonna have to go pick up that orange one. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go and just set my concealer because it is starting to crease to lightly set my highlighted areas i did pick up this next can't stop won't stop mattifying powder this is in a shade medium i do think i should have went with a shade or two darker than this because this is this is quite light to be fair i'm gonna try it on one eye see how it is and then decide whether or not to continue to use this Actually, that doesn't look bad, you know. That actually doesn't look too bad, but I don't think it's up there with my e.l.f. and my Maybelline powders. But it's definitely like a good option to have. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so unfortunately, I don't pick up any new setting powders to set my face with, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. We're gonna move on to eyes whilst my setting powder does its thing. For actually today, I was kindly sent this Flirty Talk and Pretty Please I Should Have Palette by Colourpop. I believe this was like their Valentine's Day edition. I just like their pastel eyeshadow. I cannot remember what collection this was. Let me just show you guys what it looks like. So this is the Pretty Please Press Shadow Palette. This is what she looks like, very pastel eyeshadow palette. Get like a three standard shimmer shades and then you get three like matte dry shimmers and then you get three like chrome glittery shimmers and then you get three matte shades here as well. Let's do a quick little swatch the shadows in it are not really my usual go-to but i'm open to try new stuff and then next we have the flirt to talk eyeshadow the palette again by colourpop this was definitely the valentine's day edition palette you have all the pretty pinks and reds in here let's swatch her as well this is a nice glitter shade the eye look i might do today it might not hit but the sole purpose is just to try out the eyeshadow palettes okay i'm gonna go first the with heart emoji which is like a dark red shade i'm gonna stamp this on my outer corners into my crease then we're gonna grab the shade your fave on a fluffy brush i'm just gonna use this to lightly buff out the first shade that we just used Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade You're Up. It's like a berry reddish tone shade. I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid. Oh, that is pretty. I do feel like I need to wet this shadow a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get back in my Skin Proud setting spray. Yeah, much better. Yeah. 
think I'm just gonna stick with the flirted talk eyeshadow palette. I will use the pretty please in another video. Going back in with heart emoji, just to blend the shadows together. I do wanna use an orange shade just to really help me blend the edges of my shadow. Okay, that is it for the eyes. Let's go back in onto skin and just start dusting off the excess part of our face. I'm hoping like this next product brings back the glow that my skin is in need of right now. It is not a new product, but it's my first time trying it out. It is Glowish by Huda Beauty. It is the Luminous Press Powder, and I got the shade 13 Extra Rich. I've heard a lot of people talk good about this product, so I'm hoping this will bring back some glow to my skin. It doesn't look promising right now, if I'm being honest, but I am not gonna judge it. I'm gonna hope for the best. So let's go in and bronze out the face with this. Is this even dark enough to bronze out my face? I mean, something is showing. This product has elements of glow in it. It's not as deep as I want it to. But I definitely feel like it's bringing some form of glow back onto my skin, which I am actually not mad at. I feel like this will look so good during summer, but the only thing is that it's just not deep enough. But I do like it, so where do we go from here? I'm gonna go back with the Skin Proud Hydrating Mist again, just to make my skin look less dry. I also picked up this Milani Make It Last Original Natural Finish Setting Spray as well. Again, a lot of people have been talking about this setting spray. That has a really, really strong chemical scent to it. But I've heard a lot of people talk about this product and they swear by it. So I picked it up. Let's see if I am going to love it too. Next, we have the Revolution 5 Whip Lash. It is the ultimate lash lift mascara. This product just came out, I believe. This is what the claim is. We're meant to go from this to this. If I do not have long looking lashes after this, I want my money back. Oh, a pretty packaging matches my eye look. Cute. This is what the one is looking like. Let's. Oh, this has a good grip. You guys can't really see because I barely have any lashes. But the ones I do have. It's done a little something, something to them, okay. It's definitely lifted them up, because I do have straight lashes. But this mascara is good. If you're a mascara babe, you are going to love this. But you guys know I am a lash girl, so I'm just gonna quickly go, pop on my lashes, and right back. Lashes is on, lips is lined. I'm now gonna go in and powder blush, and I'm gonna use the ColourPop Press powder blush in the shade Woo Me. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, one from the Valentine's Day collection. Look how cute she is. Look how pretty she is. Stop it. Stop it right now. Mix up well on the brush. She's pretty. Wow, wow, wow. She is pretty. Another go it instantly to our makeup collection. And for lips, I have this MUA Nourishing Lip Gloss. It looks super pretty, and you guys know that I love MUA's lip products, so I thought I would like this one as well. Yes, I have the shade with multiple brands, but you can never go wrong with a good nude. Then I'm gonna finish off with a lip gloss. And then lastly, before we wrap up this video, I'm actually gonna grab the shade Blushing, which is this hot pink shade right here. And I'm gonna place this in my inner corners. And then grab Cuddle Up, just tap that right on top, just to make it pop. And this completes today's testing video. All right, cousins, today, was a good makeup day, alhamdulillah. We used some really good products. Everything that I used, I loved. Like, oh my goodness. I wanna say this rarely happens, but this was a good makeup find. From the skin products that we used, to the eye products, to the lips, everything was just 
like i love the foundation don't like the shade range but the foundation itself beautiful love the coverage it was perfect it wasn't too light it wasn't too heavy a really good decent coverage this foundation gets a yes from me this brow wax as well love really like this elf power grip i feel like i prefer this more than the original the eyeshadow palette from colourpop stunning didn't really have any hard time using the shadows funny enough the pressed powder by glowish really like complimented this look this is what i needed to like give my skin that radiant glow because obviously i was using a lot of matte products in today's video love the blush from colourpop the cream blush from makeup revolution isn't bad i picked up the wrong shade but again really pretty product the next can't stop wearing stop press powder surprised me i thought this would be too light it's a tiny bit too light but it worked amazing on my skin tone as well so yay mascara love everything i used in today's video cousins I loved this is a really good makeup day for me like i'm really really happy no money was wasted so that brings us to the end of today's video cousins is there any products that you have that you tried out that you love is there any that caught your eye that you want to try out let me know your thoughts down below thank you cousins so much for watching i love you guys so much and inshallah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye cousins Mwah. oh i miss saying that